tonight, her drought-tolerant yard became a death trap for her beloved dog, and thousands of San Diegans have the same toxic plant. 10 News reporter Emily Thode shows us the danger that you'll want to rip out if you have animals. These plants are drought tolerant, so they are everywhere. Unfortunately, they're killing dogs. In fact, they almost killed Magnus. Give me a shake. <gasps> Such a good boy. Magnus, a three-month-old lab, eats everything. Show me your tummy. Good boy. Keep going. <laughs> Very good. good Dawn boy. Rudolph just had her backyard landscaped. The first thing that I said was I wanted to be dog friendly. Um, nothing toxic for dogs. The plants, all common, drought resistant. Neither of them knew one was a doggy death trap. The sago palm tree was right over there. Last week, Magnus ate a seed pod on the ground. This is a seed pod right here. It looks like a dried up cherry tomato. It's kind of pruney, about the size of a walnut. In fact, every part of the sago palm is deadly to pets and people. Dawn rushed Magnus to the vet. They, a lot of dogs don't make it through this. She said it's about 50-50. Yeah. I was devastated, of course, because, you know, he's a little baby. Magnus, one lucky dog. Dawn wants to warn other pet parents. They are everywhere. Um, our vet did say that they're seeing more cases of this, primarily because people are planting more of them because they are drought tolerant. If you suspect your dog has eaten one of these Seiko palms, any part of it, you must immediately get your dog to the veterinarian or he or she will not survive. In Poway, Emily Thode, 10 News.